Hi everyone, I'm Nicky. Hi, I'm Perry. And welcome to our YouTube channel, The Divine Truth Experience. So firstly, Divine Truth is a spiritual path that has been taught by Jesus and Mary for over 2,000 years. And Jesus and Mary are back on earth, we believe, we feel that is true. And the teachings that they teach is basically how an individual can develop their own personal relationship with God and that's God an actual being not you know God the universe or God the energy um, it is God a being just as I'm a being just as Perry's a being mm -hmm. it's about developing that personal relationship with the creator of all of us so um, it's all about the development of your own soul condition in love and briefly there are two um, paths of developing in love. The first is called natural love and that's where you can basically develop your own soul condition in love without using God, without building your own relationship with God. And the second one which we're focused on and is the path that we're actually progressing on is called the divine love path and that's where you involve God in the process and you want to have a personal relationship with God mm -hmm. and that also brings with it the ability to receive God's love Direct, directly into your soul. Yeah, and what's really beautiful is how I came to meet Nikki. We were both doing this process. Uh, we didn't know each other. We've only just met over the last few months. And um, we both have been having these longings in our hearts that we knew that there was a different way, which the rest of the world was experiencing in, in love. Um, I personally felt like I had this yearning that I, that I could grow, but wasn't sure how I could do that. And then I came across the Divine Truth teachings. For me, it was about four or five years ago. And was introduced to the process of prayer and God and how I could receive love. And as soon as I started to watch these videos of Jesus talking, I just had this feeling in my heart that this was the right way. And everything that I'd been feeling intuitively in my heart was, was true. And now I had like this explanation so I could logically understand everything what was happening. It was a bit, it's a bit of a um, hard way to emotionally accept some of the truths. Um, and so I just started to practice what Jesus was saying in the, in, the, in the YouTube seminars and eventually started to feel what Jesus was saying was true. Um, I was going through a lot of uh, grieving and crying, you know, which was a bit strange. And over time, started to have this connection with God, which I'd been intellectually hearing about, but didn't know if it was true or not. And it, I got, got, kind of got filled up with all this love in the end that I just wanted to share it with everyone else because I thought if everyone could feel this, then I really do believe that this is the way that we're going to heal the world and the planet. And, and, and Nikki had the same experience. And yeah, yep. I mean, I, um, I haven't been um, following Divine Truth for as long as Perry. Perry got introduced to it when? In 09 or something? Somewhere, yeah, four or five years ago, yeah. Yeah, so Perry um, was introduced to Divine Truth four or five years ago, whereas I first came across Divine Truth in July 2013, and that was actually solely because, I don't know what happened, but I just got to a point in my life where I just really want, I just had this huge burning desire um, to know uh, who God was, if God even existed, uh, what God was like. So as soon as I had that desire, you know, within a week or two, I was actually introduced to Divine Truth and the teachings of Jesus and Mary and their YouTube channel. And it, it's really strange because I was actually introduced to it the time when Jesus and Mary were, were actually in the UK um, doing a few uh, TV shows and, um, you know, a few seminars. So that was really strange how that happened. Um, but that's the kind of the time frame, you know, you you know, that we've actually been following Divine Truth. So just to give you guys a bit of a better mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, and it's uh, it's an ongoing process. Like, once you get introduced to the teachings, it can be um, a little bit tricky in the beginning. But this is one of the main purposes why we wanted to present these videos, to show you that it is possible and that you can develop and grow. And the idea is that we want to share with you different stories and experiences that we've had. And, you know, it might give you a bit of faith or inspiration to keep either start or if you've been on the path and then you've gone off the path, 
you know, it might just reignite that passion for you to carry on again. And um, we'll do a series of talks in the future of different stories that have happened to us, experiences, different emotions that we've felt. And just to give you an idea of um, kind of what to expect, really, or just give you an idea of, of just seeing like two two normal lads. Yeah, we're just no <laughs> we're, yeah we're just normal blokes. Um, yeah, you know, like myself, I just grew up uh, in a city called Derby. Um, you know, just doing the, the average kind of stuff that a, a guy does. Really, went to school, hung out with mates, played sports. You know, went to the cinema, loved movies, listened to music. And um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, we're just regular, normal blokes um, who obviously, you know, once we both had a desire to know the real truth um, and, you know, wanting to really know that, that's when then obviously we were introduced. And that can happen to absolutely anyone. It's not just us. We're, you know, we're not special. Uh, we're all the same from God's perspective. We're all children of God. Mm-hmm. So it's it's nothing you know nothing to do with that we're special. It's just that when you have a desire in truly in your soul for truth, for God's truth, there are many laws in you know other means that God can use to lead you to God's truth. So you know I I just like to express and state that mm-hmm. um, that you know any it's this is possible for everyone, uh, absolutely anyone. Yeah, one, one, one of the main things that was really profound for me was um, the development in love. Um, ever since I was a kid, I always had this feeling that there's, like, there could be more, that there's always more to life. Um, and all through my teenage years, I was just thinking, there's got to be more to life, there's got to be more to life. And so I was quite experiential in my, in my younger years and would try different things. Um, and I just had this... I, I, can't always explain it, but I just knew that my soul could develop in love in particular. And I've, I've looked at many different spiritual paths, so to speak, and wanted to better myself. Uh, through my teenage years and early 20s, I was going through quite a depressive time and um, had a lot of negative thoughts about myself. It was only recently, since I've let some of those go, that I feel better about myself and love myself more. And when I came across the divine, divine love path, um, it just kind of like answered all my prayers that I'd ever thought about and just got me really excited at the thought that I could just keep on progressing in love and there's just no there's no end to it and as soon as I started to put it into practice I I did feel myself growing love and then it just gave me the faith that I could just carry on and not just myself like Nikki was saying earlier it's like it's available to everyone and for me it's just kind of like the answer to all the world's problems (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, no yeah Yeah. it's Obviously, divine truth and divine love, um, because it's between yourself and God and building your own personal relationship with God. Um, obviously, God knows. God knows for certain what love is. God knows what truth is. And you know, there's all these concepts on earth about what love is, what truth is. That's why you know there are a lot of religions out there, and you know, it's really just kind of people um, believing. You know, using their own beliefs and trying to tailor, uh, you know, a path to their own beliefs even though, you know, some beliefs within them are in error in terms of God knows some things that aren't true about what they believe in. So, um, you know, Jesus doesn't, you know, he doesn't teach the way to God is through him, to God. It's, Jesus teaches that it's a relationship just between yourself and God. No one else can do it for you. All, all anyone else can do is just teach you the principles of how to do it but ultimately it's left to your own choice your own free will to actually really want to have this relationship with God and just from my own experience it's so far it's the most beautiful relationship I've ever had Mm -hmm. Um, I cannot tell you how amazing God is as a being Um, you know it's it's just so beautiful like every time I've had an experience with God I've been completely overwhelmed with joy and emotion and I've just you know just been completely shocked and overwhelmed at how amazing and perfect God is and the way God's created everything is just really beautiful yeah and I'm smiling and laughing because I know what he's talking about because I can feel that feeling of what it feels like uh, to receive God's love and I've, I've often tried and Nikki goes has the same experience as well when you try and explain that sometimes to someone personally 
what that feels like. Sometimes they can just they just switch off like it's really like, yeah yeah it's kind of like ah oh, yeah I'm sure it's nice and straight away I know that they haven't felt it because once you felt it it is <laughs> you just know you just know yeah. you just know if you're talking to someone um, and it's like once you've received a tiny bit tiny bit of divine love yourself it's almost like you can feel from another person that if they understand emotionally what what it is you're speaking about yeah um so so yeah i mean that's as a general summary as to what divine truth is and what um it can offer you um obviously that personal relationship between yourself and god and obviously all these other things for your life will all come together as a result yeah i mean one of the big things for me was that there, there is a saying which is that seek first the kingdom of god and all else will be given and uh, in, the, in kind of like in the beginning i was a little bit um and that's like a biblical statement it's in the bible that that yeah. is as well so yeah you'll notice a lot of the divine truth teachings um will have biblical references but this is not about christianity no. so don't get confused by that or anything it is literally your own experience with god and in the beginning I would tend to like quote Jesus a lot or quote Mary and reference them. And in the end, I got to the point where I thought, I can't keep doing this anymore. Because every time I tried to tell someone about the divine truth path, from Jesus and Mary's point of view, it wasn't as powerful. So in the end, I had to put it into practice myself and develop my own relationship with God. And it was only then that things started to speed up because I was experiencing it myself. And because of my own experience, when you deliver the message, it's much more powerful. So you yourself, if you're watching this and you kind of thinking, you know, where shall I start? The beginning is is always with God. And if that feels a bit strange for you, you never come across the term God before, or it's got all these different Feelings, negative connotations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll you'll start to sift them out for yourself. So even though you might have heard God in in, in different ways, eventually you'll come to your own conclusion of what that means for you. And then no one else will be able to swear you, and you'll just know that you know, and that's and that will be the most important thing in your life, and it, that's the only thing that can really take you on your on your journey of love, really. And and that's the great thing about it is if everyone seeks with an open heart and wants to know who God is and truly who God is and the attributes and personality of God, we will all come to the exact same conclusion because that's obviously uh, and a quality of absolute truth or God's truth is that it's obviously constant and once one person has received it uh, you know uh, God's truth about a certain topic uh, the other person a, a different person has received the same truth they will have the exact same kind of yeah. feelings about God in that specific area if that makes sense yeah because it kind of touched like all the wars what are happening and stuff now in the, like, the name of religion and especially now in these times you know what's been going on uh, in Paris recently like None of these are, from my point of view, to do with God. Um, because once you've felt the nature of God's love, there's no way that you would want to create harm in the world. And you wouldn't fight and you wouldn't want to argue your point that you know, you're know you right and you're wrong. And as, as Nikki was saying, the absolute truth is the absolute truth. And everyone will yeah. eventually feel the same thing. So, But it's just about experiencing it yourself. And like I said, I, I never knew Nikki before. And when we met, we were just having this chat and we were getting so excited with each other talking about the same experiences that we've gone through. Yeah, so you you said, oh, I had this experience. And then I was obviously listening to Perry. I was like, mate, I've had the exact same experience. I know that about God as well, just because I received the same thing from God, you know, directly in the past before I met Perry. So, you know, we've got our own experiences that when we then spoke and met each other, we were like, right, okay, you know, we, we felt the same stuff from God and it kind of, you know, um, it's given us more faith as well in God and, um, like, one thing with uh, with God is, um, you know, God is exactly the same with every with single everyone. person. Yeah. Like, you know, no one has any, you know, kind of special kind of uh, advantage with God or, you know, anything like that. God is exactly the same and constant with all of God's children. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's so many things I could say about God that um, that we probably will end up saying in future videos um, to give you guys a bit more of an idea as to our own experiences and what we felt um, about God and God's mm -hmm. attributes and 
and whatnot. So we're really looking forward to that. And um, as Perry mentioned towards the start of the video, um, I like this is basically us living in our passions and desires. I've, as I've progressed in love and as I've started developing my relationship with God further, I've, I'm beginning to realize who I am as a person, as to the person God created me to be. And the, the, I feel the main um, part of me is my huge passion for God and for wanting God in my life. Um, I know everyone will have that in them, in the soul anyway, and it's just a case of almost activating that. But um, for me, it's just a huge part of who I am and you know the love I have for God and just basically sharing what I know with others in the hope that it, maybe it could help them. Um, you know, we're not, we're not here to, you know, try and convert you into divine truth. It's not mm. like that at all. Um, you know, like I've, I'm completely happy with the stuff I've learned from God and the stuff Jesus has taught. And, you know, we're not even trying to make you believe that AJ Miller is Jesus. I, you know, we don't feel the need to do that because we, we've had enough of our own experiences to know the truth of, you know, who he says he is and whatnot. So it's not a case of, you know, trying to, um, you know, get you to believe that. Um, at some point in the future, if you do progress, you probably will end up, you know, come to that conclusion if you receive that truth from God. You start developing your own soul and you can then emotionally start to understand what real love and truth is. And the more, obviously, you get to know these principles, um, you know, then things will start becoming more concrete in your heart about your, yeah. your own feelings yeah because I'm, I'm like the least likely person who i would ever thought would have believed in god as well yes uh, which is really funny like years years ago if you'd have told me that i would have believed in god i would have laughed at you um if you'd have said to me you know one day you're going to be a vegan as well i'd have laughed at you and all yeah. all these things that i just never imagined that i would be like have all started to happen um, and a lot of the stuff that Jesus, what I first heard Jesus say about five years ago when I first watched the seminars, I kind of got and understood, but I didn't have a feeling in my heart about them. And over time, my heart feels now what I learned in the beginning is actually true. So it just gives yeah. me the faith that all the other truths what Jesus is saying is possible and that the potential is possible. And so that I can grow and develop and continue to grow and develop. And even when it gets hard, I remind myself of all this stuff previously that yeah. you've gone through. And, yeah. I go, oh, but I remember when I couldn't do it before and now I can. Mm. I remember when I used to, you know, eat meat and now I'm now I'm a vegan. Um, so some of the higher truths, what I think that I can't achieve, I say, yeah, but do you remember when you think you can, you know, you couldn't be loving in this area, but now you are. And so it just helps w with my faith and you'll, you'll hopefully discover that yourself as well if yeah. you want to uh, take it on. And that's the great thing with receiving God's love is that once you've, uh, receive God's love on uh, you know um, or God's truth on a certain topic so you know God's you know position on that certain topic like eating meat for example you um, your heart automatically changes mm -hmm. you know like it's not you know where we see meat or we see you know we see some someone eating chicken and we're thinking oh I'm feeling oh we really want that we really want that it's just not like that at all. And it's not like we have any judgment towards that person. It's just a case of, wow, like I can't, I wouldn't even be able to force myself to eat that. It's like once you see God's truth on something, it's automatic from then on. Yeah. You can't, you don't even need to use any willpower to, you know, to avoid certain actions or yeah. behaviors. It's just automatic. And that's how beautiful God is. And it, that's, you know, it, that's why we want to share what we've learned. Because it's just completely life changing. I, did Did you ever go down the path? I used to do like when I wanted to change before, and I didn't know how to change. Like just like a ton of affirmations and try and use like meditation and and mind tricks to try yeah, and make like yourself feel more mind positive. dominant. Yeah, yeah and yeah. just like they, they never worked. Um, and it was only when I had a change of heart that I literally didn't have a desire to do certain things. So like um, I used to drink like a ton of alcohol all the time, was always drunk. Yeah, same. <laughs> now just don't, it just doesn't even come to mind. Like I don't finish work and think, oh, I could just murder a beer. Where before that would just be my natural thing to go to. It's like, 
anything which which is unloving for me, I just naturally now you don't want to do anymore. Um, and there's obviously there's other stuff that I'm doing in my life which will be unloving. So I'm just looking forward to the time when that just becomes natural as well. So at the moment, I, some of the things that I've done, you don't have. You, you'll find yourself you don't need to try. There's no affirmations. There's no faking it until you're making it. You're just like real in the moment and the less judgment you can have about yourself, about where you're at in your level of love, it will help you develop and grow. Yeah, because yeah, I used to have a lot of, I, I didn't want to admit that I wasn't being loving because then that would make me a bad person and I didn't want to be a bad person. But as soon as I said that was all right and I'm making mistakes. And realising that we're not perfect. Yeah. It, yeah. That for me was the big, the big one where I allowed myself to make mistakes and think, okay, I'm not perfect, but I'm carrying on, I'm still praying to God, I'm still developing. And because uh, that was one of the major reasons why before I was probably wanting to just stop altogether and developing in love because I just felt like I wasn't good at it and I'd start to judge myself. And as soon as that happened, it was like game over. Um, and it's all about just experimenting. So the only reason, you know, the only reasons why me and Perry have been able to ascertain certain truths of, about God and receive God's love on certain occasions is because we've chosen to obviously firstly watch Jesus and Mary's YouTube uh, videos and obviously them teaching the principles of mm. divine truth and building your own personal relationship with God. Um, once we obviously saw that and begun to intellectually um, become aware of certain things, we then thought, right, you know, there's no way of us determining this is true unless we have our own personal experience of it. So we both started just applying uh, these principles in our day-to-day -day lives and once that started happening then obviously you know there were all these experiences that then started occurring and you know obviously with that a lot of your own feelings come up that come up naturally as a result and, and basically all these you know these feelings of um, sadness fear anger rage shame you know all these negative emotions that people really don't want to f want to feel about themselves and um, all of these start coming up and it's a case of just being in a state of humility mm -hmm. and just letting yourself feel whatever emotion comes up in that certain situation and just letting just expressing that feeling and whilst also at the same time well this is what i do anyway at the same time i'm trying to stay connected with god i'm praying to god in the moment to help me go through this feeling and you know help, help me just express it and with obviously god's help it becomes so much easier the whole process and obviously once you know you go through the feeling that feeling has then left you it's not in you anymore and then that's when god's truth and god's love can then come into your soul on that particular subject and then that's how then it becomes automatic so in the future if that certain event comes up again you know, you know exactly how to react and it'll be automatic and it will always be a loving action that you take. Or the event won't even happen. Yeah. So if you're having a, a series of negative events, once you've lived the emotion of that, like it just doesn't happen anymore. And then one day you'll be like, oh, it was like me like, eating meat actually. All of a sudden there was just no desire in me to want to eat meat. So if you're thinking why is, you know, maybe you don't know why eating meat is unloving, um, just to think, like the killing of animals for me is, uh, is, is unloving. And so there was just a development in my soul where all of a sudden I didn't have to try. I didn't, it wasn't like a week on me, a week off. I just, just it just happened in, in, in a process. Um, and that will happen in all areas of your life. Yeah, you know? I mean, so many different areas. You know, being vegan is just a just tiny, a small part. it's yeah. a tiny, tiny, tiny yeah. um, decision or choice that you make that is actually in harmony with what God knows the the truth and love is on that particular subject. That's just a tiny thing. Mm. And, you know, the, the fact that with uh, being a vegan, um, it's not just the killing of animals. Um, it's the fact of when you're a vegan, you actually becoming more loving to other people, other souls around you. So obviously all the other children God created, the environment, you know, the way, you know, the way the earth is at the moment. So all the, you know, um, what's the word like? The environmental um, impact that 
being a vegan, uh, being a meat eater has on the world, and mm -hmm. you know all of these things, all the climate change, all the happening? climate change, everything. So, um, you know, we, although we feel that's just a tiny bit of developing your love towards God, you can see just how that tiny bit has such a huge impact on not just yourself but other people, animals, the environment, just everything. Yeah, and then you eventually expand it out to your new relationship with, with your people, with your partner, and eventually you want to be with your soulmate, and there's a whole host of stuff where you can just develop in love, and um, it's really hard for me to explain. I can't tell you, I can't explain how bad I used to feel about myself, like this deep, deep, deep like self-loathing, self-worth, so many horrible feel, uh, feelings and often suicidal thoughts, and now I'm feeling much lighter and brighter and hopeful and there's more faith and I, and I can also feel what the potential is as well uh, waiting for me um, so that keeps me going as well after feeling God's love like Nikki was saying earlier it feels so amazing that like you just want more of it and then so it kind of like forces you to want to pray for more um, but it's not it's not a force you just know how you just really want it yeah it's just a, it's just you using your will in the direction of just really wanting more of God's love. And, you know, the only way it can ever come is if you then start taking more actions in harmony with God's truth and love. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you get to a point where you receive some of God's love and you're praying and praying and you can't feel any more coming in, it's God showing you there's something else, this, you know, something else within your heart that's blocking the reception of God's love into you. And if you pray to God and ask God, you know what that could be then god will show you very quickly through events that you attract in your day-to-day -day life that bring up a certain type of emotion that if you let yourself feel and experience and remove from your soul that's when then you have the ability to then obviously ask and long for god's love from your heart it's not a thought of oh yeah i really want god's love it's got to be a real it's a passion, it's, desire. It's, yeah, it? it's such yeah. a strong, you've got to have such a strong feeling for God's love. And that's when then, obviously, it can happen, basically. So. Yeah. And, and in the beginning, like, the, one of the most powerful things I am continuously learn about is, is that word desire. Like, you've got to have a desire for God. And the more passionate you are about that, things will happen more quickly. And in, in all areas of life as well. So, you know, you might be in a job that you're not that passionate about. And so obviously you feel suppressed and sluggish, you don't want to wake up in the morning, you feel tired all the time, you feel you know, maybe depressed and then so it makes your relationship not work. So one of the key things for me is like, just like try and get in tune and follow what your passions are. So obviously me and Nikki, we come alive when we start to talk about this stuff. We feel more buoyant, we feel more hopeful and just... And we want to work together to yeah. create things for everyone else. You know, you see, it's not us creating things, you know, for us. You know, that's not what we're doing this is just us being who we are <laughs> expressing the love that we've you know received from god and just expressing our love towards others and you know if we're not forcing anyone to do anything you know this is on youtube if you don't want to listen obviously you don't have to watch our videos it's just for the people who do have an interest and do kind of desire to know more then obviously then yeah. they're in a position where you know they can then start looking at things and experimenting but i was going to say but just because we're saying that you have a desire, your desire doesn't necessarily have to be like doing stuff what we're doing, like teaching about God and this, that and the other. Your desire, you know, might be music, painting, acting, yeah. whatever it is, building, construction, you know, but just like go and do that and do what your heart says. And the beautiful thing about desire, well, I say it's beautiful, but it will bring up a lot of your fears as well. So it kind of, it, what it does, it kind of forces you to push through your fear because what will happen is it you fear will prevent you, it'll become so painful that eventually in your lifetime you won't be able to not do what you're supposed to be doing in life because it will just become too painful. Whether on earth or yeah. in the past and you're in the spirit world. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. so you'll get to a point where it's so painful that you'll die in pain <laughs> or you'll get your act together and you'll think, you know what, I'm not going to let this fear beat me anymore. I'm going to follow through my desires. And as you pull through your desire, you'll see your life start to change and then it'll give you more faith and hope and more love will come into your heart and you'll start to believe more in the process and then you just if you keep doing more and more of that just amazing things will happen so like for example someone who first goes on the piano obviously isn't amazing at the piano they've got to go through a lot of 
pain and trials and errors. And they've got to have yeah. the faith that at some point they will be able to play that piano as well as <laughs> they've seen someone on TV play it, for example. Yeah. So there's a lot about faith and just, you know, seeing where you truly are, actually. you just got to see yourself for who you are truthfully and see yourself, you know, f- from God's perspective of, ha- you know, where God knows you currently are and just, you know, coming to accept that. And then from there, you've got a platform to start changing, start changing your life, start tackling certain stuff that's going on in your life, all these rep- uh, repetitive kind of habits and cycles that you always find yourself in. And, you know, once you start challenging them and becoming more of the person that God created you to be, then you'll find you get more joy in your life and, you know, you start meeting new people and you really enjoy it. Like me and Perry, like this is an example. Yeah. Like, you know, I have a huge passion for God and also for sharing God's truth. This is not my truth. And Perry can, I know, I know Perry say the same thing because we both receive the same truth from the same source, which is God. Mm-hmm. So um, this is just who we are. We're just expressing ourselves. Um, and wanting to share truth and because we know how much it's changed our lives already and you know we're not you know I wouldn't say we're you know super developed or anything like that we've just you know we just wanted to exp- we've just been open to experimenting more with the yeah. truths that that Jesus and Mary teach and we've been finding that they are true like the stuff that we have found and um, that is true I was just going to say one of the beautiful things when Nicky was saying there about our development and such one of the real cool things what starts to happen is is it, as you start to release your own emotions you can start to feel other people's souls and it's a bit it, 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 I, I like it because it's you, mean, you can start to feel what the other people are really feeling and it takes me by surprise sometimes and there's a bit like am i making this up in my mind but for example you might be trying, and it's undeniable isn't it yeah like they can't cover over the person can't cover over the true feelings coming out of the heart towards others so even though like the words in the words they might say something that's completely false but you can feel the feeling coming from them is completely different so if you know if you ask someone oh are you angry at me and they're like oh no i'm not angry at you mate but you can feel this rage coming out of them towards you yeah. then obviously you can feel kind of that you know they're not being truthful which is fine it's their choice but you know it's like that's just an example yeah, it's just an example to show you and kind of give you an idea of about like the soul development and like how it can improve your relationships. Because you can say, for example, you're in a partnership, you know, you can feel how your partner's feeling and you can resolve things quicker if you have a desire to, you know, challenge what the other person is feeling. If it's not loving, you can say, hey, I'm feeling this from you. Let's take this opportunity to talk about it. And being in truth all the time with your person. Yeah. 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 And, you know, the old saying, the truth sets you free. You, you'll realise if you have a, you know, you might have a confrontation. You don't want, you don't want to address it because of fear. But with that part of you, the loving part of you, is going. I should really address this. And you go there shaking. You're open scared. You fear. Yeah. <laughs> you'll open up the conversation. And I've had this experience loads of times where I've been scared to talk about a certain thing. And then once you do, this new blossoming of love and understanding from each other just starts to happen. And, and you're like, resolved, why, yeah. why was I so scared of that before? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my, like, you, you do get that sense of freedom. As mm. Perry was saying, that the truth sets you free, you do get that sense of freedom. And you start realising how uh, damaging and destructive living in a state of fear is. As and well, yeah. yeah, not being truthful. And, you know, God's laws are always working constantly to try and, you know, to help you see you're in that state and trying to help you see that, you're just, you know, you're creating your own downfall. And, you know, it's not God punishing you. It's just that God's trying to help you. God's trying to help you see that, you know, if you're, you know, engage, engaging in this action, then you're going to create more pain for yourself. Yeah. I mean, it can feel like punishment in the beginning with your, yeah. the way we're being brought up. But eventually, the, the, the scales will start to tip. And the more, tr- the, the more you practice being truthful, you'll start to see the beauty in truth. Yeah. And then the more love you'll start to feel. And yeah, eventually, yeah, yeah. like, you'll want truth. Like, you'll want to be truthful with every single person, no matter the outcome. You start to love yeah. the truth. <laughs> um, and when you receive God's love you, and start really knowing who God is, yourself, in your heart, then you know that God's just there to help you as many ways as God can possibly can. And God's got a lot of ways. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not just through God's law, like law of attraction, but it's also through spirits, like people who have lived on earth, who, who have died, who have passed into the spirit world. Uh, like, for example, we've, we've got every, every single person has got a spirit guide who helps them basically. God assigns that person to you, that spirit to you, and also as well, it's that spirit's desire to want to guide you. Mm-hmm. So obviously there's both there. It's not like God's forcing the spirit to guide you. It's, you know, it's a mutual desire on both parts, like God and the spirit. But ultimately, your guy's there to help you um, progress in love. That's what the guy's there for, and to assist you and to help you become aware of these things that God's trying to show you that you, you know, you might be blind to because of certain emotions within you, which you know um, skew the truth as to what you see it to be from God's perspective. So, yeah. Um, so, so yeah. Obviously, you know, God's got so many ways of trying to assist you, even if you don't, you know, even if you don't believe in God or if you got anger at God. You know, God's always still there trying to help and trying to show you things. And it's just, it's just, it's just yeah. beautiful, really. And, and ultimately, it, it's so, the, the answers to everything, all the problems in the world is so, the, the answer is so easy. It's all about love. <laughs> and it's not and like, proper love, not love yeah. what someone thinks. It's love yeah. from what God thinks, it's not, not like, anyone else. It's not like a wishy-washy, yeah. kind of like romantic love. You'll start to realise this word love for me actually probably gets overused quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> massively, massively. Like, it really gets overused and like you say, I love you, I love you too, I love you this, love you that. But when you start to feel God's love, even to me now just saying the word love, I just know the power of it and um, the power of love. <laughs> power of love and truth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and why truth? is Because for me what happens is what truth is, it's like a hammer. Which will crack your heart. Yeah. For anything. It just, it's, like, it's like a sword. It cuts yeah. straight through all the crap, bang, and straight into your heart. And then what happens is once the heart's cracked open, the love can pour in. Yeah. And that's when kind of like the love does its work. Um, yeah, and it's automatic. Like God's yeah. love, once you receive it, it, it starts working automatically in your heart, in your soul. It starts transforming you, starts changing who you are. And the more of God's love you receive, the more you start becoming like and acting how God acts and what God feels is love and truth in certain situations. It's like that saying, being in the image of God, which is the, the, the biblical uh, term. term. Yeah, phrase. Yeah. Um, that, that's kind of, you know, that's what happens because you're receiving God's love, your soul will change and act the way God acts on, on everything yeah. that you're doing in your life. And the real image yeah. of God, it's not the human body, like some people believe it to be, uh, the image of God is the soul, so it's the soul. God's, God's like the great soul, the you know, the the prime being soul, the creator of everything. Yeah. Oh, so um, we're not saying you become God because you can't become God. Like, no, you can I'm never not, become God. Yeah. We're not, we're How not can God. the creation become better than the than the creator? It's impossible. It's yeah. impossible. Um, so yeah, you'll find that you know a lot of teachings out there will say that. You know, you're God, I'm God, we're God, and um, I'm one, you're one, we're all one. But as you start to feel and experiment what we're talking about, you'll feel that there is a separation between like me and Nicky and he is his own entity and I am my own entity. We've got our own yeah. although we've got we share some similar passions and desires yeah. like sharing truth and our passion for God, we still have our own, you know, um specific desires and passions that the other one doesn't. So for example, like you love writing and all of that, don't you? And your music. And I, yeah, yeah, I received a truth from God that I'm actually, I've got a gift in my soul with music that I just wasn't aware of before. It just came to me as a truth as I let myself feel some sadness. Um, it just came and I was like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> God just told me I've got a gift with music that I never knew I had. Um, so it's like the more you kind of experiment with, obviously, the teachings of divine truth and what, Jesus, who I've got so much love for Jesus and Mary, it's unbelievable. Just because obviously, when you see what they teach and the way they teach it, and you see mm. how much they've helped, it's it's yeah. it's just unbelievable. Like I've got so much love yeah. for that, and and you know them deciding to come back to earth and to share the truth of God again with yeah. people. Because you might have come over, if you come across if you've never heard this before, and you know you go do a Google search. You'll see all like 
the um, what's it called? The like media. The media. The media portrayal of yeah. Jesus and Mary saying it's a cool and, and it's, it's so <laughs> just, not. Yeah. Once once you've met them and you have a, and you start to build like a friendship with them, it's the last thing on your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't you know. Like it, it used to affect me. I'm not gonna lie. It yeah. affected me. You know when I spoke with someone about what I, my beliefs and I believe that AJ's Jesus and Mary's Mary Magdalene and when I used to say that I used to you know get all kinds of crap up, you know back at me saying oh yeah it's just all a cool and you know you, you you're gonna go over and see him and you, there's gonna be like a mass suicide and all of this you know um, I used to get that so much and um, and it's just so far from the actual truth like yeah. the people who told me all of that stuff they're people who they've basically just gone on either reading something that the media have uh, written or said about them yeah. or just their own fears and their own judgments about them based on their own beliefs and then wanting to hold on to their own beliefs and not being open to anything else, not being open to truth essentially. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the fact, you know, it's, it's just really like, it's, it's a lot of it's, it's, it's now like yeah. it's actually like amusing it's really laughable, yeah. because um you know it's not like i used to you know um have sadness when people used to say that to me but as i let myself just feel that sadness and feel the harshness that you know of the emotions coming from people towards me um and i let myself grieve it i've now i'm at a point where I actually can just say openly to absolutely any single person, no matter who they are, no matter you know, no matter what they say, I can be in truth and connect to myself and tell them exactly what I believe. And the weird thing is, I I can't remember the last time I received you know a, um, a condescending or angry or attacking response back since I grieved it, which is really cool actually. Um, so um, so yeah, I mean, it's just a case of being open really to even experimenting with it because that's one, how we did that's one of the one of, one of the biggest blocks i had and i've probably still got that feeling inside is that you, you know you might be going crazy you know to believe oh, such yeah. a thing yeah so you're yeah. like oh i've had that a lot <laughs> i've had that a lot from yeah people. so i found myself in, uh, in the beginning and sometimes now depending how i'm feeling you know going, is this true or am i just going nuts and it was more so in the beginning but once you allow yourself to feel like because basically what you don't want is is it what the other people think about you. So once I was on my own, I just felt it was true and I, I didn't care. But as soon as you want to engage with another person and talk about it, then the feelings are going to come up of like, what they're going to think of me? Are they going to think I'm crazy? And that's usually because maybe yeah. you, you're invested in you wanting them to like you or you're trying to control was, or manipulate them by mm. not giving them the full truth of what you believe as well. So... There's a lot of all you know these feelings that you know where you're not in a state of truth, where you're kind of yeah. trying to skirt around the subject, and in order just so you don't feel these yeah. these quite you know nasty you know terrible feelings coming from them towards you, it's like that, isn't it? Yeah, and then what happens is the, the more I started to deny myself and what I truly felt, I just felt worse about myself, mm. and just felt like I like less self worth than I did beforehand. So I like feel like my soul would just start degrading. So I was like, oh, do you know what? Mm -hmm. I've got to start being more of me more of the time, more often, to the point where it'll be all the time. Like, I'll just be fully expressing myself truthfully, no matter what the outcome. And just recently, I've been doing more and more of that. And uh, Nikki and I have actually helped quite a lot of people in the process of being in conversations with people, telling them how we feel. And then that person, they didn't even realize it was going to happen, started to cry and getting some grief about how they were feeling. And then afterwards, they've just thanked us so much. Mm. I'm not saying that because I want you to think, you know, we're great or anything. But just to give you an idea of what happens when you're being truth and the power of that truth has, and it, how it can affect another person without them even thinking something, you know, was even going to happen for just being yeah. yourself. For just being <laughs> yourself. It's so simple. It's yeah. so simple. God's created it so beautifully and simply and perfectly that you know all these things where you start going in your mind about you know all these terms and all these other spiritual paths it's literally mind-blowing yeah. and stuff whereas the real truth of god it's so it's really simple a child can understand it actually child's um, doing better already right? yeah child, <laughs> if you look at a kid the kid just feels their own emotion all the time you know if the kid's upset it just starts crying if the kid's yeah. angry he starts you know giving the tantrum and you know a kid 
They're not thinking about... Yeah. They're not thinking in the head, oh, oh, I can't be like this because then that person might not like me. They just let themselves feel it. They're in the state yeah. of humility. And that's really what, you know, what we're trying to get back to. Even yeah. though we're adults, we're trying to get back to that state of just letting our, our emotions come as and when they do get yeah. triggered. And it's like, yeah. if you've ever been in a child's presence and they'll just point, you know, say if you've got a spot on your face and you've been trying to hide it, a little kid comes along... And they'll say, hey, what's that spot you've got on your face? And the parents are like, don't say that. Yeah, but yeah. the kid just like is just saying the truth all the time. And it's only when that parent said, don't say that, then the kid goes, oh, if I tell the truth, it means I'll get told off. So I'm yeah. not going to say or the I'll truth Or I'll get anymore. smacked or something yeah. if the parents decide to smack the kid. And, and then so you just start, you, just, you stop trusting um, speaking openly and truthfully. Yeah. But mostly kids, when they haven't had that, will just say stuff which might embarrass you embarrass you as the adult because you know you can't handle the truth um but you know there's, there's that there's another term in the, it's the innocence isn't it it's the purity yeah. and the innocence in it and that's really who we are really uh, truthfully we are we are that you know little innocent kid who just what you know whatever we feel like doing we just go and do and you know we're not scared of experimenting we just go ahead and do it we're not thinking oh but why forget that wrong? What forget that wrong? I'm gonna be in trouble. You know, God's not like that. God wants us to experiment. God wants yeah. us to explore. God wants us to um, get to understand and know ourselves as to who we truly are, who God created us to be. God wants us to find, you know, to be of our soulmate, the other half of us that God created specifically for our own enjoyment mm -hmm. and to have that relationship. That, and that's why when you see little kids. You know, little children are always asking why, why, like the parents will say something and go, why? And then they'll tell them the answer and they'll go, why? And as adults, you know, we, we kind of stop doing that. And as I've been practicing that more with my prayer, we'll be like, why does this happen, God? And why does that happen, God? And why? And then God just starts to show you. Yeah, you um, feel like a little kid again. And God's yeah. just there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll help you as much as, as, much as I can. And if you really want to know, if you're desiring to know, then I'll help yeah. you as much as I can. Yeah. And then when I don't want to know, it's because I'm scared. You know, I'm, I'm scared what the answer might be, and uh, so that you stop asking questions because you don't know. You, you, you're scared of change, and change, like it's got to happen for your soul to grow. And I know in my life, you know, even now, I'm still scared of change. I'm not yeah, trying same. to say that. I'm not scared of change. Yeah. But it's getting easier and easier as I'm getting more brave. So you can pray for courage, and you can pray for certain things to happen. And you'll go through a process, which will give you more confidence to want more truth and want more love, yeah. and like. Don't ever think that you can't grow anymore. Like, I know that now I'm in a bit of a place where I'm quite happy and I don't want to grow anymore. <laughs> so it's preventing me from growing. And so I, my prayer now is like... Because okay. you don't think it could get better. Yeah. Basically, whereas God knows it can. Like, God knows we can, you know, be even more happy. We can be even more joyful. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm kind of like denying that at the moment. I'm thinking, okay, I'm, everything's all right at the moment. Don't rock my boat. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's not true. That's just my fear blocking me from wanting to progress. Um, so, yeah, so it's exciting in the future. Nick and I want to do more talks and give you examples of, like, more... Like, today was quite broad. Yeah. But we'll, we'll... Like a broad introduction and, yeah. you know, let, giving you guys a bit more of an understanding as to who we are, what we're, you know, our intentions of creating these videos and stuff like that. So, some of you may be aware, those who are on the Divine Love Path, but I recently, a couple of months ago, I created my own uh, website called uh, www.divinetruthhub.com and on there I've basically written just an overview of what the site's about, uh, who I am, what Divine Truth is um, and also there's a blog page there that I'll be basically uh, linking these YouTube videos that me and Perry do. Mm -hmm. on that site so um, people who visit that site can see these videos as well as visiting YouTube directly and going on our channel um, but also um, yeah. Perry is planning on also um, your, you know writing your own section on there and yeah and there's also you know the divine uh, divinetruth.com website you can go to so that's that's Jesus and Mary's Jesus and Mary's and all the information and background is on there yeah um, so that's www.divinetruth.com divinetruth.com yeah yep. yeah and if you go on youtube you can you know download all the seminars of what have been given us hours and hours and hours and hours yeah, of discovery yeah. that you can do for yourself um, and see jesus and mary talking about 
what we've been chatting about and their experience um, yep. from their point of view, which yep. is, you know, really which is mind blowing. It's yep. absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> um, and, uh, and also, uh, one thing to mention as well on the site, on my site, divinetruthhub.com, and there's also a forum that you can access there. It's a public forum, anyone can access. Um, you know, even if you're brand new to Divine Truth or you want, you know, you want to learn more then um, you can access that, register, accept the terms and conditions. And then on there as well, you can start chatting with other people uh, like ourselves. We're both on the forum. I'm obviously an admin and Perry's on the forum as well. Um, and, you know, discuss uh, certain principles, uh, you know, really key areas such as, you know, prayer and the soul, the human soul, emotions and, you know, all these things, really, really important stuff to help build your own personal relationship with God on there. So if you are interested in that, then feel free to register. It would be great to actually get to know you as well. Um, and also, like one final thing I like to say is that what we're creating is free, completely free of charge. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not, there's no expectation on anyone giving, you know, giving us any kind of money for what we're doing. It's all just on a donation basis which actually helps, it, it basically just helps us with maintaining the site and basically helping us create more. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, we're not kind of treating it as a business where we're trying to get as much money as possible so we can then spend on our own things like, you know, if you want to buy a car and stuff like that. You know, stuff, our personal stuff, it's not about that. It's about using the donations to put back in to our creation and to help us create even yeah. more and also to benefit, to better the experience for everyone else yeah. as well. And you'll find as well when you're following your passions, like you won't want money to get in the way. Like you'll be like, oh, I want to follow my passion, but it costs this. Or, I want to follow my passion, but I don't know how to charge. Or, yeah. you know, you'll just like want to do it to have the opportunity to do it. And to express who you are. And to express who you are. And just that alone will feel amazing. And, and that's why we're doing these, uh, the, the YouTube videos, is because we just love doing it. And we've had a really awesome time today just setting it up and, um, it's been quite funny season, actually because yeah. this has been our first video and uh, we had a few outtakes <laughs> and whatnot which is really funny but um, hopefully as time goes by when we get more accustomed to you know connecting with ourselves more and the more we progress we can share our own experiences with you you know with more clarity and stuff so mm -hmm. uh, we're really excited for that and um, and also quickly with the donations as well um, you know we don't feel it's ethical of us to charge anyone to basically if, if someone wants to really learn the truths of god like sincerely mm -hmm. you know we feel that putting a barrier such as money in the way is just completely wrong like in terms of from uh, what we believe god's truths and feelings are on the matter just because we're all god's children and god really would love all of God's children to want to connect with God and build your own relationship with God. So obviously, you know, stuff like money, that's just a barrier there that would maybe prevent someone who's actually really sincere building that relationship with God. And because we know how crucial and important it is having a relationship with God and the benefits it has in your life, not just your life on earth, but when you've passed in the spirit world, it's just, um, it's just incredible. And, you know, like we just want to make it clear that, um, everything's free and it's just if you you know if you want to donate out of your own you know uh, generosity to donate then obviously you're more than welcome but you know you're not obliged to make any payments towards us this is just us expressing who we are our desire and wanting to help help others so mm -hmm. um, so yeah uh, that's basically it I think that's a good broad yeah. view of why what we're doing and what, what we're doing yeah so so yeah I mean Obviously, thanks so much for tuning in and, and watching. Um, it's obviously, it would be really great to maybe in the future get to know you know you better and, and whatnot. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be quite a lot of changes on um, the Divine Truth Hub site to obviously accommodate for, for this new project that me and Perry are doing. Yeah, so any questions that you have, my details and Nick's details are up there so you can email us individually yeah. and we can get back to you um, as soon as we can. Or if you know you want to direct to somewhere we can direct you to somewhere else if there's some information that we don't know um, yeah. the, the main thing for us is that you know we just want to share this information and if anyone wants to do that with us then that's amazing yeah, yeah. Uh, so and finally uh, what I'm going to do is just provide you with the links to 
uh, Jeeves for Mary's site firstly because obviously that is that's got all the information on there, all the teachings, and obviously Jesus and Mary know these truths from their own personal experience of obviously over 2,000 years. So, you know, they they can go into so, so much more detail and accuracy than what we can currently. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously I'll provide a link to their site, and then from there you can easily learn more about who they are and their intentions and also um, being directed to obviously their YouTube channels. Uh, they've got three YouTube channels at the moment so you can easily um, find your way over there if you have a desire and then secondly I'm just going to put a link to um, the site that I recently created that me and Perry will be basically working on and then also on that site is where you can also have access to the forum as well so yeah thanks a lot for everything guys uh, thanks for your time thanks for listening yeah thanks a lot and um, and hopefully we will we'll be, um, more, yeah. we'll be doing a few more videos and we'll catch up then Thank okay, bye bye. Cheers. Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. Hi, I'm Perry. Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Divine Truth Experience. So, Nikki, should we explain why you. <laughs> <laughs> what was so funny? I was being awesome.